Yo, what's going on, guys? This is Soul Striker. Welcome back to another plugin tutorial. Today, we're doing it on a plugin called Throw Swords. And uh, as the plugin suggests, this plugin lets you throw swords. Uh, as seen on Hypixel on um, Murder Risty, where you can throw your sword, this plugin represents the aspect of throwing swords which is really cool and in the config you can uh, change all these different types of swords that you can use you also have durability and the damage that it costs but i'll show you guys in a little bit so i have all the swords in my craft in my inventory right now so all you do have to do download this plugin there are no other plugins you have to download everything works great from 1.8 through 1.11 uh, no dependencies as I said just drag it in your plugins folder erase out your server and you're fantastic ready to load so how to throw a sword basically just uh, hit shift hold shift and then it use your drop button the mine is Z for my drop or Q is like the default drop button so go ahead and drop it and uh, boom throw our sword and our sword has broken because it's a wood sword and it has the durability it takes the full durability so next we're going to do a stone sword go ahead and chuck that bad boy into the zombie and boom now we have our sword back go ahead and chuck it right at the zombie again and we have hit the zombie a second time as you see our durability is going down from every time we're hitting the zombie and, and we are retrieving our sword and we have got a sword back so now we have the gold sword so we can go ahead uh well we'll kill uh where that chicken was there a chicken i swear there's a chicken well we'll kill this pig oh he's moving <laughs> he's moving all right give me my sword back there we go all right go ahead boom killed piggy killed piggy all right this will probably be the last one and shot all right so now we have our iron sword go ahead and chuck it at the pig and then we'll get it again uh that oh boys got the pig yeah all right now uh, we have the diamond sword go ahead and throw the diamond sword over Head there shot. boom one shot wrecked skeleton how do you feel about that so that is how you throw the swords uh, in the game so let's go into the big so here you are in the main config and there are two YML files. You got your main config YML and your messages YML. So we're going ahead and open those up and here we are in the config of YML. It's pretty straightforward except for this one thing. So the damages is damage, the damage amount times 0.5. So basically when a player or a mob gets hit with this diamond sword, the damage will be dealt by two hearts because obviously 4 times 0.5 is 2. So that would do two hearts of damage. Same uh, with the iron sword. If we changed it to 20, obviously uh, then that would do a full 10 hearts of damage. But uh, if we change it back to four, it will be down to two hearts of damage. Gold sword is a one and a half hearts. Stone sword is one heart of damage, and the wood sword is one heart is damage as well. The durability loss is straight 150 uh, for this for the diamond sword, for example. It, it, there's no half times multiplier for the durability loss, so whatever number that you put in, it will automatically subtract that. So the diamond sword has like a thousand or something durability, so you will be able to use the diamond sword about like 10 or so times with uh, the durability, durability loss set at 150. Then if we just uh, go down the line, we got durability loss is 30, gold sword is 16, stone sword is 30, wood sword is 100. As you saw in the video when we did the wood sword, it basically broke right away. And then here we got a nice little aspect that I asked the developer to add, and he added it, so shout out to him. Pretty cool uh, feature that we have here. here. Basically what this does is once you kill a mob or a player when using the throwing sword aspect of the plugin, then you will get the dropped entities. So, for example, in the video we did, uh, we killed a pig, right? So, a pig dropped little pork chops. So, those pork chops, if this uh, option was set to true, we would get those pork chops in our inventory, which is super awesome. Same with killing a player. If we killed a player using the throwing sword aspect, then we would get all his goodies in his inventory. So, it's everything in the config YML. If we move over to the messages YML, we have pretty self-explanatory as well. You can change all the color codes, you can change all the messages, and you're pretty much set, ready to rock and roll. So go down, download this plugin. Link is down in the description. As always, it is a free download on Spigot, which is super awesome, and it will work for pretty much all your versions from 1.8 through 1.11. So go ahead and download it. 
Links down in the description, as I said. I will see you guys next time. Peace out.